Hey there, it's Rich with Rich Mount Photography, Sacramento, California, and I'm coming at you today from beautiful La Ventana, Mexico. La Ventana means the window, and this is my second home down south in Baja, California. And uh, I just want to welcome you to Rich Baum's Tips and Tricks for Real Estate Photography YouTube channel. That's a mouthful. But I want to tell you this is a place where you can find a lot of things out about a lot of things. Real estate photography, ph photography in general. We deal with editing. We deal with all kinds of things. But the goal is to just get you more educated and help you to be more successful. So today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a review on this beautiful lens right here, the uh, Sony 200 to 600. Um, it is a super telephoto lens. They call it super tele. And I know it's not real estate photography related, though I have shot a few things, and I'll show you that in the uh, video, that are kind of like not um, something you would ever use this long of a lens for. But if you needed to or you wanted that effect, it could certainly be useful. So the reason I have this lens, and this is a loaner brought to me by B&H Photo. Thanks, B&H. And I'm super stoked to be using it. And uh, it is quite a lens. And I wanted to go over some of the pros and some of the cons. But good luck, the good goodness of the luck is the pros way outweigh the cons. So stay with me, and I'm going to take you through the uh, a real short tutorial that is not really in depth. You can certainly find better tutorials, better videos online regarding the technical aspects. But I found searching YouTube, nobody's really doing this for windsurfing or kiteboarding uh, photography, sports photography. But there is sports photography videos out there, but not for water sports like surfing, windsurfing, or kiteboarding. Now, La Ventana is where I call my second home in Baja. And we have a uh, beautiful island out here. We have a beautiful town city out here. And this is a place where people come to do a world renowned, a world, uh, it's just a, a destination location for kiteboarding and windsurfing. And that kind of photography is very special. And uh, it's not the easiest, but you know what? You can certainly figure it out. So uh, stick with me and we're going to go through it one step at a time. Okay, so with windsurfing and kiteboarding, and these photos are going to be mainly of kiteboarding, I want to say it's an action-packed sport. You got to keep your shutter speed at a thousand or one two thousandth of a second. It is um, fast, it's moving, as you can see from the photos. And let's just see one here. This one is a super, super shot of a guy doing a thing called foiling. He's on a foil, so the uh, board is not on the water, the board's on a foil about this tall, and he is using a foil kite. But it gives him incredible lift. So beyond just photographing going this way, I've got to go up, and actually it would do steps. He would go up and then up and down, and he would do some great tricks and great things. Now, I kiteboard myself, and I pride myself as a pretty good athlete and pretty good guy out there, but I'm nowhere near this guy. And he is doing this, and I've got to capture this. So I am preparing for it, and I want to say that my focus settings, and I'm on 600 millimeters, so it's, it's quite long on a full-frame camera. So it's quite long, and it takes a little bit of technique to get used to it. But man, I put this thing in an automatic autofocus mode with the focus point moving around to the subject and this thing, this A7 III, locks on 100% of the time. So if the, if the subject is locked on and in the focus, you can see here, I've got him up way high, I've got him down lower, and all I'm doing is panning with him to get him in the shot. Now you can also see I've been doing some shots, as you can see right here. I'm doing black and white, which is really, really um, helping me to produce images that stand out, that are looking a little different, looking unique. Some people don't like them. Truists, I'd say, may not like black and white, but I love it, and that's my thing. So we've got that. Now you can see, too, that I've got some wider shots 
And um, it, it, it isn't a really wide lens, though at a certain distance, 200 millimeters, is fairly wide enough to shoot a couple of people like this. And I will say that the focus of this camera is absolutely amazing. Combined with this lens is a perfect fit. So it's giving me everything I need to be successful. Now, if you're shooting baseball, I've shot baseball, and here's a couple of baseball shots. This is a friend of mine's daughter in a um, softball uh, for high school. And you can see that I'm not only getting a great sharp shot, but I am getting the bokeh or the out of focus area that I like. Now, a lot of people will be concerned as I was on the aperture. Um, and when you're at two, when you're at 600 millimeters, you're at f6.3, which is quite slow for sports photography. But you know what? I was worried that it wouldn't give that subject isolation or the background blur. Absolutely, don't even worry about it. As you can see here in this shot, kiteboarding, the background is super blurred, super great subject isolation, and it's exactly what I want in one package that I can hand hold. I mean, come on guys, I can't hand hold a 500 millimeter two point, uh, or uh, F4. So this to me is the uh, perfect combination. Okay, I will say that you will need, if you're gonna be using this for sports, uh, in low light conditions, it may not be the lens for you. You can though, in this camera, at least the a7 III, I can push the ISO to 10,000, 12, 8, 20,000 even. And I can get decent shots when you're properly exposed. So always properly or slightly overexposed shots for low light because um, your fo photos will come out in the end after noise reduction less noisy so it is just amazing and that's really all i wanted to say today so um, if you have any questions leave your comments below please subscribe hit that subscribe button up at the top hit the bell every time i do a video um, it's going to be let letting you know that i've got a new video and again this is not real estate related but it's my YouTube channel, so I'm gonna, every so often I'll incorporate a different genre. But for sports, I've shot uh, skiing with it, I've shot uh, football with it so far, I've shot a fair amount of baseball, and here's another baseball shot. How can you not love this shot, and this angle, and this bokeh, this out of focus area? So don't worry about an aperture of 6.3, it's gonna provide you the look that you want. And take it from me, if you're on the verge of thinking about this lens, go get it. You're gonna love it, I can't imagine. And I shoot it to, mainly in the daytime, because windsurfing and kiteboarding's in the daytime. But if you're gonna be doing daytime sports, this is great. And wait a second, I never even talked about birding. Now I'm not a birder by any stretch of the imagination, but man, I went out birding here in La Ventana, Mexico, and I have a friend, Dr. David Bird, and let me tell you, he took me out and I, I started learning a little bit about birds. And then I went right in front of my house here. And as you can see, fantastic images, super colors. Okay, I had a little bit of uh, my special sauce to these images that are not straight out of camera, but you too can get, get uh, examples like this. Now, all these bird shots were taken handheld. And that is possible to do it because the in-body stabilization and the, uh, the stabilization in this lens together works seamlessly. So forget about third-party lenses. Get this lens. You're going to love it. And I love it. And as soon as I return it to B&H, again, thank you B&H for lending it to me. As soon as I return it um, in a couple of months, I'm going to be releasing it uh, into my quiver. And it's going to be my primary lens for windsurfing and kiteboarding. So, this is Rich with Richbound Photography, Sacramento, California, saying, shoot smarter, shoot better, just get, get better clients and better products and better projects and enjoy yourself. I mean, how lucky am I to be able to take pictures for a living? And I can go on my time off and shoot sports. 
and you know what make a couple of bucks here and there but uh that's another story for another time so thank you and subscribe leave your comments and rich with rich Bell photography saying i will see you later on the next video bye